What's up, YouTube, man? It's your boy, your Crispy. Welcome back to the channel. Now, this will be one of the more serious toned videos that I don't usually do. Just for the simple fact that we are going to be looking at some of the um, the accusations that Corey made against YouTube. And in my opinion, they are fully justified because YouTube be really doing us grimy sometimes, bro. Um, now, I love YouTube, right? I'm on the app on the website trying to make videos trying to have build my own community and whatnot you know what i'm saying and Corey kenshin is one of those people who really inspired me to start doing this bro and for this to be happening to him right now is disgusting honestly um i don't want to drag this video out too long but I'm just show you some of the clips, man. I don't want to just look like I'm coming out of nowhere, having a temper tantrum because these things are happening. The allegations I am levying towards YouTube are extremely serious, and I'm taking this video extremely seriously. YouTube, you guys either play favorites, you are racist, or it's a mix of the two. These are the three options, YouTube. Which one is it? Here's my proof. I've been doing YouTube a long time, okay? I never want to be that guy, oh, it's because I'm black. Oh, these issues are happening because I'm black. There have been certain situations that I looked at kind of funny. I said, hmm, it could be because of that, but nah, I ain't gonna, I don't, I'm not trying to press that. I don't want to build that narrative around my, my YouTube channel. All right, y'all, as y'all can see from that first clip, he's talking about YouTube could be playing favorites or they could just be playing racist. Now, I watched this video already. I just wanted to put my two cents from my own YouTube video showing some of the clips of Corey Kenshin just because of the simple fact that I am a small YouTuber trying to grow my community on YouTube. And I've been seeing other videos that, um, there was this feature that if a video becomes too popular on a smaller YouTube channel, you won't be able to watch it unless you subscribe or so something like that. And like I'm seeing all this stuff, and I'm like, how how would I even be able to grow? Like I I don't even have a thousand subscribers yet. That's what I'm trying to reach, and it's like, it just be feeling like YouTube be working against us most times, bro. When it when they really claim that they're supposed to be helping us, you know, like where's the love for us? You know what I'm saying? Not just black YouTubers, just for like smaller YouTubers in general that's trying to grow their community. Like, just be rough out here, man. I tell you, bro, I'll show y'all some more, bro. August 18th, I uploaded the Mortuary Assistant. A lot of you would know it got age restricted because the following video I did, I let you guys know it got age restricted. YouTube didn't tell me why. I saw that all these other YouTubers were playing the Mortuary Assistant and only my video seemed to be age restricted. And I looked for like an hour, two hours. I was scrolling all different types of people's video no one else's was age restricted. All right, guys, man. As y'all can see from that clip, uh, the homie, the homie Corey, basically said he posts the Mortuary Assistant, you know, know that game, on Steam, and his got age restricted, while other channels that posted the same game didn't get age restricted, and obviously that could spark some accusations and allegations and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, why did mine get age restricted? And I'm black, you know. He probably seen someone else posted it, and they weren't black. You know what I'm saying? There, and, and, and it's Markiplier. Y'all, y'all know the homie Markiplier, right, bro? All right. I'm gonna just show y'all the clip real quick, and then I'm gonna get back to talking, y'all. So I looked at that part. The first thing I did was try to find other YouTubers who had that part, or at least a part similar. Now, Markiplier, I don't know if you'll ever see this. But I just want you to know I have a lot of respect for you and I didn't mean to drag you into the middle of this. Your channel just has happens to be a great reference point because A, you're a really big YouTuber and B, you're not black. So I can look at your channel and then I can look at my channel or look at anyone else's channel and make sure that the things and the games that you play, all that they're enforcing the rules equally to everybody. So I go to Markiplier's Mortuary Assistant Part 3 and he had the same situation going on, and his video wasn't age restricted. All right, so as y'all can see from that clip, he's basically verifying what I said earlier is to be true. Um, and I've seen a lot of YouTubers make videos about this situation, 
And I was like, you know what I'm saying? Why not I make a video about this? You know what I'm saying? I'm black. I'm a small YouTuber. And I don't really see people in my position being black and being a small YouTuber making videos about this. You know what I'm saying? Like a small YouTuber like me. I have 700 subscribers. I'm almost there to 1,000, right? And I'm trying so hard to build my community, bro. But, uh... You two just be making it hard sometimes, as you can see. But uh, let's get back into this, bro. Let's get back into this, bro. Hey, um, Markiplier has this situation in his video, but his isn't age restricted. Could you send that to the policy team and see what they say about that? He said, "Wow, Corey, uh, that's some astute detective work. Let me uh send this to them and see what they say." What do you think happened after that? I'll give you a second. They came back. And they removed my age restriction. They took it off. After they already rejected my appeal, I sent them the clip of Markiplier's video that has the same thing, and they removed it. I said, why? I expected them to triple down and give Markiplier an age restriction too. But they looked at Mark's video, and they used that to verify my innocence. So I send my YouTube rep a lengthy email detailing my feelings about the, the entire situation, feeling like there was some favoritism at play. There was either that or some racism at play and that I would like to sit down with the policy team and figure out why my video was flagged in the first place. Number two, who was the human reviewer? Because it's a human reviewer once you send submit an appeal. Who was the human reviewer? that doubled down and rejected my appeal. Number three, why did it take Markiplier's clip in order for them to reverse the decision? So another day, another two days go by, and what do you know? They re-age restricted the video. <laughs> they re-age restricted the video. I say, no way did they do that. I go to Markiplier's video now, and now his video is age restricted. They got caught with their pants down. They got called out and then they had to go back and say, oh, whoa, 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 okay. We see the narrative that he's kind of pushing here. We need to take some steps back. We need to just age restrict them both and be done with it. That's the classic situation of being caught doing something bad to someone else and trying to rectify what you did by punishing them both. Like that, like, you know what I'm saying? That's what should have been done in the first place, right? If Corey's got age restricted, everybody else, like as soon as the video hit YouTube, should have been age restricted, age restricted, age restricted, not just Corey's being age restricted and everybody else is getting off the hook. You feel me? I mean, don't get it twisted. Your boy loves Markiplier. Your boy loves Corey Kenshin. Your boy loves everybody, bro. It's just like, like, is it? it's not fair. It's not fair, bro. And, 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 and I'm glad the homie is speaking up about this. You feel me? The whole YouTube community need to speak up about this because this is atrocious. You know what I'm saying? This is unfair. This is foul play, bro. You know what I'm saying? But, man, let's get back to it, bro. Within the policy team. And YouTube in general really doesn't care about black people like that. Um, they got their favorite creators. You know, log out of YouTube. Log out and go to YouTube, you'll see the people on the front page every single day. You'll see the favorites. Count how many are black. Count how many are of people of color. So then what does YouTube try and do? They try and peddle YouTube black. They try and give us a spotlight. And Do you know how condescending and patronizing that is? Oh, yeah, let's give a spotlight to these black creators because we're all about diversity. But, yeah, man, the things that he's going over, the things that he's discussing is 100% valid. Everything is true. I don't I don't see any 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 um, wrongs in this. Like, it's just spot on, bro. And he's talking about um, you two having their favorite uh, content creators. You know, I believe that. You know what I'm saying? Not just because it's Corey Kenshin. It's just from the experiences that I've seen. You know what I'm saying? The stuff that I've seen, right? And the YouTube black thing, you know, uh, th there's that. You feel me? And he was saying how it was patronizing and, you know, condescending. And that's true. You know, I, I just I just hope YouTube gets better as a whole. You feel me? For the better. 
of us for the better of everybody, bro. It's just it's it's ridiculous. And I know I know y'all see my comment down there, bro. You feel me? And, and, and I, I was like I was I was disgusted by this, but you feel me? You, you you get the message, right, man? Let's continue. All this communicates is black people aren't good enough on their own skill, on their own merits, on their own talent. So we got to give them a spotlight. We got to come down and raise them up so they can get some spotlight action. And bro, me personally, I know I put so much effort and so much blood, sweat, and tears into my YouTube channel, bro. I put so much effort into it. I'm trying to go my channel, bro. And as we speak, I got a video that I'm going to drop very soon. And he's talking about uh, the YouTube black thing. It, it, he kind of he's saying that it's kind of like, you know, what I'm saying they can't do it on their own type stuff. They need like a a little kick, kick in the butt. You know, what I'm saying to get some forward momentum with it. And that's like, you know, just make it fair for everybody. You know, we can all eat. There's enough space on YouTube for all of us to eat and grind and grow, bro. You know what I'm saying? And there is no reason for some of us to be struggling like this. You know. Um, yeah, bro. Man, let's get back to it, bro. All right, y'all. That's just me giving my two cents on this whole situation with Corey Kenshin and his problems with YouTube, bro. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and hopefully you guys learned something from this and are becoming more enlightened on the things that really be going on, man. Uh, and as always, man, I love y'all, man. Stay tuned for some more videos, man. Peace. Thank you.